boys and girls and grown-ups, and welcome to Summer Stories with me, Ms. T. I'm so glad that you're here today. I've got some great stories planned, and we're going to jump right into our first book called Crunch, the Shy Dinosaur by Sirocco Dunlop. Pictures by Greg Pizzoli. This is Crunch. Do you see him, boys and girls? I see some eyes right there. Crunch is shy, so you'll have to be the first to say hello. Go on, say hello. I'll tell you what, let's count to three and we'll say hello together. One, two, three. Hello! Oh my, you said it too loudly. Crunch seems to have run off. Do you see him anywhere? Hmm, he likes the happy birthday song. Do you know that song? If you sing it, maybe he'll come out. So why don't we sing it on the count of three? Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Crunch. Happy birthday to you. Let's turn the page and see if he's there. It worked. He's out. He loves birthdays because someone has one every day. He loves days in general, and he's a positive dinosaur. Try to say hello again. You can try it quietly so you don't scare him. Let's say it quietly on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Hello. That was too quiet. He's gotten uncomfortably close to you. Try it one more time in a nice medium sounding voice. Bold yet gentle. Let's try it again. Ready? One, two, three. Hello. Perfect. You can tell he liked that because he's an appropriate distance from you and also because he put on his most fun hat and he's dancing. Now, you can tell him your name. Say it clearly so he can paint it on that big rock. He loves painting names. So on the count of three, everyone, let's say our names. Ready? One, two, three. Miss T. There, your name is perfectly painted. You can't see it because it's behind a big pile of leaves. Say thank you, Crunch. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Thank you, Crunch. Your voice startled him. Maybe now would be a good time to be very quiet and very still and see if he climbs back down. There he is. <gasps> Standing tall. Good job being so quiet and still. Sometimes it's important to let dinosaurs come to you at their own pace. Crunch is tired from all the climbing and painting and socializing. You can remind him he should go to sleep by saying, Good night, Crunch. Let's say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. Good night, Crunch. Uh-oh, he must have thought you said, Good light, Crunch. He turned on the lights. Say goodnight, Crunch, one more time in a calm and soothing voice. Maybe you can lie down when you say it to show him how nice sleep is. Good night, Crunch. We did it. He passed out immediately. We should probably let him sleep. If you wouldn't mind, please close this book very gently. And there we go, boys and girls. Crunch the shy dinosaur. All right, I'm gonna put my book back in my rowboat to keep it nice and dry, and we're gonna put our hands up high. Can you do that? Here we go. Hands up high. Hands down low. Hide those hands. Where did they go? I don't know. One hand up, the other one too. Let's clap them and fold them. And now say, boo! Whoa, and look, we've got bubbles on this sunshiny day. Lots of bubbles, lots of stories, and let's jump right on in to boys and girls. Never take a shark 
to the dentist and other things not to do by Judy Barrett. Hmm. Boys and girls, do you think we should take a shark to the dentist? I don't know. Never take a shark to the dentist. Never sit next to a porcupine on the subway. Never go shopping for shoes with a centipede. Never knit a hat for a moose. Never invite an ant to a picnic. Never ever take a giraffe to the movies. Look what happens, boys and girls. We're gonna turn our page all the way up, 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 and there is the giraffe. Whoa. Never play checkers with a spider. Never share your lunch with a pig. Never play double dutch with a grasshopper. Never hold hands with a lobster. Never take a goat with you to the library. Oh no! Never give a moth a sweater for her birthday. Never go to the bank with a raccoon. There he is right there. But always go shopping with a pelican. The end. And that's never take a shark to the dentist. Well, boys and girls and growing ups, I want to thank you for stopping on by. I'm going to go ahead and tell you about some of our programs this summer. Oh my goodness, do you see the shark? Whoa, I hope he doesn't come in the pool and eat Miss T. What do you think? Just a reminder, sign up for our online summer reading program called Tales and Tales and More Read the Summer. Check out our summer story walk outside of the library. Sign up for our adopt a stuffed animal reading buddy, our grab and go crafts. A reminder, watch other episodes of Virtual Summer Stories with Miss T. Check out our Pirate School, Virtual Frogs, Bugs, and Animals, and Virtual Turtle Dance Music. The best thing to do would be to go to the library's website, wwwporchester rybricklibrarayorg I miss seeing everyone. Remember, you can also call the library for no contact pickup or for browsing by appointment. Take care, have a great summer, stay cool. I miss seeing you and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye, bye-bye.